Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. Okay, uh, I would like to explain to you about MFRS 110, events after the reporting period. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the coverage for this topic. Okay, first we're going to look into the definition of events after the reporting period. Okay, followed by the difference between adjusting events and non-adjusting events. Okay, uh, the accounting treatment of events after the reporting period and disclosure requirement of MFRS 110. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the definition of events after the reporting date. Okay, according to MFRS 110, okay, events after the reporting date can be defined as those events both favorable and unfavorable that occur between the end of the reporting period and the date when the financial statements are authorized for issue. Okay, if you look into, if you look at this diagram, okay, uh, let's say the end of um, accounting period of a company is on December 31st, 2018, okay, and the date when the financial statements of the company, okay, are authorized for issue by the board of directors, okay, is on April 20, 2019, okay, and the date when the financial statements are expected to be issued is on April 30, 2019. Okay, so the events after reporting date must occur between okay, the end of accounting period, that is uh, December 31, 2018, and the date when the financial statements are authorized for issue, that is April 20, 2019. Okay, so the events after reporting date must occur within this period, okay, uh, between 34 December 2018 and 20 April 2019. Okay, basically MFRS 110 has identified two types of events. Okay, the first event is uh, those that provide evidence of conditions that existed at the end of the reporting period. Okay, this event, uh, these events are known as adjusting events after the reporting period. Okay, the second type of event, okay, are those events that are indicative of conditions that arose after the reporting period. Okay, these events are also known as non-adjusting events after the reporting period. So basically, okay, there are two events uh, that uh, can be identified after the reporting period that is adjusting events and non-adjusting events okay next okay we have a look at the adjusting events okay actually the adjusting events okay will affect the financial position and performance measurement of the entity even though they occurred after the reporting date Okay, examples of adjusting events include okay, measurement of bad and doubtful debts, determining the net realizable value of inventory, court case, impairment of assets, cost of assets purchased or proceed from disposal of assets, profit sharing or bonus, and fraud or error. Okay, basically, okay, events, uh, adjusting events, okay, adjusting events usually uh, related to items that were previously recorded or recognized in the financial statements. Okay, for example, okay, uh, the company identified a bad debt after the reporting date okay, and before the financial statements were authorized for issue. So, the company must make adjustments on the accounts receivable and uh, the allowance for impairment of trade receivables that were previously recorded in the financial statements. Okay, the adjusting events that are commonly tested in the final exam includes okay, uh, the measurement of bad uh, or doubtful debts, okay, determining the net realizable value of inventory, uh, court case, uh, and also uh, fraud or errors. Okay, so these are the types of events that are most commonly uh, found or tested in the final exam questions. Okay. So, when an event is identified as adjusting event, so what would be the accounting treatment okay, for adjusting events? Okay, uh, so 
for adjusting events, okay, we need to adjust okay, the amount previously recognized in the financial statements or if the amount is not recognized or included or recorded yet, then we need to record or include in the financial statements. Okay, so basically for adjusting events, we have to make adjustments in the financial statements. All right, uh, next, okay, we have a look at the non-adjusting events after the reporting period. Okay, when an event is identified as non-adjusting events, so what would be the accounting treatment? Okay, so when an event is a non-adjusting event, okay, no adjustments are to be made, but the following disclosure should be provided in the notes to the financial statements. First, the nature of the event and the estimate of the financial effect or a statement that such an estimate cannot be made. Okay, so um, that means, okay, if uh, an event is identified as a non-adjusting event, okay, we don't need to make any adjustments in the financial statement, but we have to disclose the nature of the event and the estimated financial effect of the event, if any, okay, in the notes to the financial statements. All right, okay. So this is the uh, these are the examples of non-adjusting events. Okay, after the reporting period. Okay, the examples include decline in the market value of investments after the reporting date, a major business combination after the reporting date, announcing a plan to discontinue an operation or disposing of assets and etc. Major purchases and disposal of assets or expropriation of major assets by government, the destruction of a major production plant by a fire after the reporting period, okay, and so on. Okay, actually, um, for more examples of uh, non adjusting event, you can check out uh, MFRS 110 or uh, your textbook, all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is the example of questions on the events after the reporting date. Okay, this uh, question is taken from the final exam of January 2018. Okay, let's have a look at uh, the question here. Okay, uh, Bena Burhad is in the process of finalizing its final accounts before the approval by the board of directors on 1st August 2017. The financial year end of Bena Berhad is on 30th June 2017. The following events were identified after the reporting date of the company. Okay, uh, so the first situation here, okay. One of Bena Berhad's customers who owed the company RM280,000 was declared bankrupt on 1st July 2017. Okay, none of the amount is expected to be recovered. Okay, this one is about bad debt, okay, and it is uh, an event, okay, after the reporting date. Why? Because, okay, uh, the, the bad debt was identified on 1st July 2017. That is after the end of reporting period, 30th June 2017. And before the board of directors uh, authorized the financial statement for issue on 1st August 2017. Okay, so this is an event after reporting date. Okay, uh, usually the question, okay, uh, the, the question will ask whether uh, this event, this situation, okay, uh, is an adjusting or non-adjusting event. Okay, so basically, okay, the nature of the uh, above event is the, uh, the, the nature of the given event is the adjusting event all right because it relates to the measurement of bad debt okay so the accounting treatment okay for uh, this uh, adjusting event the company needs to adjust its financial statements by decreasing its accounts receivable by rm280000 and decreasing its allowance for impairment of trade receivables by rm280000 also Okay, so this is the accounting treatment for this event. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, so this is the second situation. Okay, the, the introduction here is uh, the same as the previous one. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the second situation. Okay, on 15 July 2017, 
the board of directors of Bena Berhad declared a final dividend of 5% to the existing ordinary shareholders. Okay, so why this is an, uh, uh, an event after reporting date? Because it occurred after the end of financial period okay, and before the financial statements were authorized for issue. All right. Okay, but uh, the question is, okay, we have to, uh, the question is, okay, is this event an adjusting or non-adjusting event? Okay, so the answer is, this is a non-adjusting event. Okay, uh, it is a non-adjusting event. So, what will be the accounting treatment for uh, this event? The company needs to disclose the nature and the financial effects of the events in the notes to the financial statements all right uh, so uh, for non adjusting event we don't need to make any adjustment but we just need to disclose uh, the nature and the financial effects of the event in the notes to the financial statement okay let's have a look at the last situation okay okay the, the last situation on 20th july 2017 okay one of the company's warehouse was destroyed in a fire. A loss of RM200,000 is estimated for the damaged inventories. Okay, this is also uh, an event after the reporting date because it occurred okay, after the end of uh, financial year, okay, 30th June 2017, and before the financial statements were authorized for issue. Okay, uh, first we have to identify okay, the nature of the event the nature of this event okay basically it is a non adjusting event okay clearly it is a non adjusting event okay and uh, the accounting treatment for this event okay the company needs to disclose the nature of the event and the estimated loss of rm 200000 in the notes to the financial statements okay in this situation the estimated loss okay uh, okay, is given okay, in this in this question. Okay, the estimated loss is given, so we can uh, mention uh, the estimated loss. Okay, of this event amounted to RM two hundred thousand in the notes to the financial statements. Okay, uh, that's all about the topic. Thank you very much. Okay, and thank you for listening.